What's up, everybody? So, I had a brilliant idea today. Um, I've been really thinking about the Game Chasers movie for quite some time. Full disclosure, I even uh, donated to their Indiegogo. I believe I believe it was Indiegogo. I I uh, let me even see. I forgot how much I even donated. To be honest with you, I should have had this prepared, but of course I wasn't. I never even thought of this until now. Uh, mm, let me see. In the... Anyway, I don't know. I, I, I donated something like maybe 50 bucks or something like that. Oh, here we go. It was Kickstarter. I pledged $54. I don't even know what I get. Uh, let's see. Limited Kickstarter Blu-ray signed $50. This is a special Kickstarter version. Two disc set. Signed by the cast. Region free. Yeah, what, what I was thinking, I don't know. But anyway, so, full disclosure, I don't mind the Game Chasers at all, okay? Um, but lately I've been reading a lot about them, and I'm really starting to think they're Little Samson and Flintstones. I, I'm starting to think that they were planted. I, I've, I looked into it, and, you know, I, I've met them. I met them at the Game On Expo here in Arizona. A little while ago they're super nice um, took pictures with me and my family they're as far as I know they're they're good people so I'm not gonna hate on them you know for some arbitrary reason but one thing you can't deny is Billy and Jay are I don't even know what word to use they they are they're like they're their fuse is easily lit, let's say. One thing, every time I think about the Game Chasers now, the first thing I think of is, uh, <laughs> is, uh, this text I saw Billy send out saying, yeah, we have a lawyer on retainer, like basically threatening a lawyer on, I think it was Darius Trutson or something like that. It was just so petty. Anyways, oh, by the way. Jay actually made a video specifically directed towards me because a month after the Star Wars movie came out, I think it was episode seven, you know, the first one of the Disney trilogy. It was like a month after it came out, Han Solo already died. Everybody knows Han Solo died. Well, I talked in his chat, like who's live streaming, Shady Jay, and I was like, uh, I made a joke like, yeah, and Han Solo dies. Dude, this guy got so pissed off. So if you go look up Shady J, uh, what grinds my gears in the episode he did about people spoiling movies, he did that directly towards me. Anyhow, let's get onto it. So I made some predictions today. I took some notes. I just, I, I feel like I could envision this movie. Like I had, I had a vision and it all came to me. So I took some notes. So I'm starting a challenge. I challenge anybody who sees this video, make an, an upload a video of your own making your own Game Chaser movie predictions, okay? So here we go. This is what I think the movie is gonna be about. Basically, this is the plot, okay? An unlikely duo, being Billy and Jay, stumble upon some gaming relic while game hunting. So yeah, they'll be out game hunting find this weird unknown gaming relic controller or game or something like that said relic is cursed cursed relic brings about video game-esque monsters slash spirits after them through many ups and downs the unlikely duo with the help of their youtube buddies save the day okay here's my exact predictions so that's what the plot is they find a, a haunted game on accident when they're out game hunting. 
And by the way, the game store they're going to be at, they're going to have some YouTuber be the clerk at the game store. That's another prediction. Anyways. So yeah, they're going to find this gaming relic. It's going to be cursed. It's going to be haunted. They're going to fight all this crazy stuff. They're gonna. There's going to be all kinds of crazy, silly things that happen. And then they're going to do something to, you know lock the curse back up or something like that and the movie ends and blah 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 so here are my exact predictions okay gaming historian will be called by one of them asking for info about said relic so my prediction what i'm saying here is they're gonna see this game thing and they're gonna be looking at it and be like I, I don't think i've ever even heard of this and they're gonna call gaming historian and be like hey do you know have you heard anything about this? And gaming historian is either going to say no, which I doubt is going to be the reaction. What I think he's going to be like, oh my gosh, Billy, are you joking? That's the curse, blah, blah, blah of whatever. And they're going to like basically look at each other and be like, oh my goodness. So that's my first prediction. There's going to be many, many 80s through 90s references. Like, tons of those references are going to be made. Especially Ghostbuster references. So, 80s, 90s pop culture are just chock full in, of it in the movie. Most of these references will be poorly executed due to no budget to use IPs. So, basically, um, they won't have any rights to use like stuff like Mario. And, and you know they've got to be careful without... You know, because Nintendo will come after them big time. So, th th I think they're going to be make light and underhanded references to certain things. But since they don't have any money in the budget to buy any of these IPs, it's going to kind of fall flat. Keeb. You know Keeb? The, your old YouTube friend that died? Keeb will make a cameo as a ghost. That's one of my guesses. There will be a scene where Billy and Jay look at each other and scream. So basically, they're going to be standing there. Something's going to happen. They're going to look at each other and they're going to go, ah! So, one of those. Oh, and I forgot to say, Keeb will make a cameo as a ghost that gives them guidance. I forgot to put that part there. And they're going to look at each other and scream. Okay, a total of 15 or more YouTubers will make some kind of appearance. So I'm going to be counting, because you know this movie is going to be chock full of YouTubers. So I say no less than 15. I'm, I'm actually rolling the dice and saying exactly 15, okay? Ain't shit Eric, I mean, 8-Bit Eric will slip on a banana peel and get caught by a ghost. Yes. If they are smart enough, they will have some kind of joke like that. That's what I think, you know, because Eric gets caught slipping, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, Eric's going to slip on a banana peel and got, get caught by one of these crazy ghosts that they unearthed by using this relic. And, um, yeah, and they're going to make some kind of joke. Like, they're going to, like, look at each other silently but not, like, say anything. And, like, the audience will, like, fill in the blanks. Redneck Chris, or whatever, what's his name? I think it's their cousin, or Billy's cousin, Redneck Chris, or... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what his name is, Chris. So, Redneck Chris will come in, guns blazing, and kill something. So, I foresee Redneck Chris, I hope that's what his name is. He's gonna come in, and like bust through a window, or bust through the door, or something that involves firearms, and he's going to kill something. Whether that be like a ghost or just, I don't know, something. So that's another prediction. Game Dave will break the fourth wall and look straight at the camera with a goofy face. I, I believe that's the correct term, breaking the fourth wall or the third wall. I forget what it's called, but basically when you step out of the movie mode and like make a do a nod towards the the audience who's watching the movie 
you know, like Wayne's World, they would always like talk to the camera and stuff like that. Actually, I've never even seen Wayne's World all the way through. I just remember some bits and pieces from long ago. So I, I remember Garth like looking under the table, talking to the camera. So I have a feeling Game Dave will break that wall, look straight at the camera and make some silly face. Alpha Omega Sin will be called and say a total of six cuss words in his short cameo. And I'm not talking about his height. I'm talking about the length of the time he'll be on screen. So either Billy or Jay or someone's going to call Alpha and everyone's going to be like, Oh my gosh, Alpha! And Alpha's going to be like, F and this, F and F and F and B, F and B, S, B, B, you know. And the scene's going to be over. So six cuss words from Alpha Omega Sin. Dodongo Do with exactly one scene, purely for comedic purposes. So there you go. Dodongo will be on screen for a couple seconds. He'll be a butt of the joke and he'll never be seen again. A spoof YouTube site will be shown on screen while they are watching a video on the internet. So you know when you watch like TV shows or movies or something and they'll have some website and it's totally like Facebook, but they call it like, like, you know, like a face story or something, you know, they'll change it a little bit because they don't have the rights to use the, the trademark and stuff like that. So they'll switch it around, change the color, you know what I'm saying? So they'll be browsing on the internet and they'll bring up a, a spoof bootleg looking YouTube site and it'll be called like boob tube or something like that or chode tube or chode vision, something like that. A few shots where the boom mic is in frame, cast is seen off to the side or a camera operator seen in a reflection. So I'm basically saying there's going to be a few parts where, the, you know, where even big AAA movies have this issue. But I have a feeling that this is going to be highly likely. Even though I get the vibe that Billy is like an, an extreme OCD perfectionist when it comes to videos he really cares about. So he, I'm going to guess he's combing through every frame and every square inch of every single well, frame, uh, looking for stuff like that, seeing if he could kind of like edit it, stuff like that out. So who knows, but I'm gonna, I'm just throwing it out there anyways. Billy will end up needing to pay a lawyer to his trolls messing with him because his $500 retainer is gone. Oh wait, that's not part of the movie, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a whole nother... <laughs> I, I just laugh at that. Uh, Billy's like, we got a lawyer on retainer. He's like basically like posturing like he's going to like sue some. I, I don't know. It's, anyways. So I challenge everybody here. So those are my predictions. Okay. We'll, we'll briefly go through it. You know, appearances from a bunch of YouTubers like Alpha Megasin, Gaming Historian. I feel like I had more to say about that. Um, just as long as it's better than <laughs> the AVGN's movie. What a pile of dog crap AVGN's movie was. That was... I, I someday will have to review them. I couldn't even finish that movie. It was so bad. And it was so bad. And the ending was even worse, dude. Whoever they hired as an assistant director totally took over the movie. Bastardized it. Pushed James around. Dude, it was... Even as a B or a C movie... It, dude, that was such a bad movie. So, why did I go off on that tangent? Oh, so, 
I think it has potential to probably be better than the AVGN movie. It's just weird. You know, YouTubers and movies don't really usually mix. I will admit, Happy Console Gamers movie, you could tell that thing drips and oozes and just emits passion. I love Happy Console Gamers movie. I wish he would do another one, honestly. Um, and, and it's really funny if you ever watch that movie with the commentary on. Dude, Johnny basically was torturing himself to be able to finish that movie. But anyhow, so I'm going to guess it's going to be better than AVGN's movie, which the, that's setting the bar incredibly low. Probably not as passionate as Happy Console Gamers movie. If you take the passion and like the nostalgia I have for that movie and... If I hadn't didn't care about Johnny whatsoever, that movie's probably like 0.1 out of 10 movie. But since I kind of know who Johnny is, I understand the passion and the very low resources he had. Probably I'll give that movie dang near a 10. Oh, Klonoa. So yeah. I've just been watching how they've been handling the budget. Like they were going to hire some actor i forget what his name is it's that mexican dude with the long hair who is in basically every single movie ever made it's like why are you and then they're trying to like license music they got a hundred and fifty four thousand dollars to make this movie and apparently they ran out of funds because billy was selling a lot of his stuff like a lot of his games and stuff like that and trying to um somehow amass more funds for the movie so from my point of view the money probably was not spent wisely it might bomb it might be this is going to make or break the game chasers honestly because their viewership's been going down no one's been really caring about we're, we're, we're everyone's kind of laying off because they understand okay yeah billy's making a movie and I wonder how much Jay is actually con contributing to this movie other than showing up and blurting out a fart and a burp in like half of a line. I, I wonder how much he's actually contributing to this. Um, and hopefully not the entire workload is on, uh, on Billy. And, dude, and they have like those... Okay, let, let, let's see something real quick while we're here. While we're here, let's just go off, man. I already got you here. Let's go. So I wanted to show everybody this super Look at this car. This, this was made supposedly by some world-class prop master Paul Steves give them the Indiegogo then the Kickstarter the info sheet like everyone knows what the movie specializes in this this is probably a couple thousand to make so hiring him and then the cost of this there's so much you can't see inside of it yeah Ghost Getters, 1-800-GET-GHOST. So yeah, this this is what makes me think it's going to be some kind of horrible, crazy... Honestly, I've never seen Ghostbusters all the way through either, so I, I, I don't even know. I do have the Ghostbusters game that I've been wanting to play. So yeah, they've been spending movie on the, or money on this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Is there anything else we could bring up while, uh, I have y'all here? Let's watch the trailer. How about that? Let's, let's, let's watch the trailer. I got an idea. My cousin Samuel, he's a torso right now because of an electric accident. He gets 3K a month from the government. And now he doesn't have to do anything. Is that Billy's production company, Rotoscope? I, I don't know. You can open it up early, but don't tell your parents. Wait, what? Can I ask? I can't believe you got the best video games 
I haven't seen this trailer. I'm serious. So there go all my predictions. Game Dave. Does he even make videos in anymore? <laughs> oh boy. Dave? The car! I don't know who's driving it, Morty! Ah! Enough! Ever they go, huh. we go. Why was that even put in the trailer? It's not a jar store, it's jar's game. I will say the camera work is really nice. The lighting, the camera angles are very good. Very good. There's the one scene for Dodongo. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Of course. They're all easily scared. Don't you have any skeletons on the way out? Skeletons? No. Alright. So there you have it. So I guess probably almost nothing. I, my, You know what? You know what the problem is? Is my plot and my prediction was too genius of a script. Well, don't you think that would have been better? They're going out game chasing. They find this, maybe this NES cart that, you know, sometimes you find old cartridges without a label on it and they take it home and they put it in and it doesn't really do anything. And all of a sudden weird stuff starts happening to them. Bro, my see, my idea was light years ahead of them. They, and if they don't have 8-Bit eight, uh, eight Eric slipping on a banana and getting caught by... Yep. They should have hired me, bro. They're, the only way this movie's going to work is if it's chock full of references to their channel. And the, tons of video game jokes. Fart and burp and dick jokes will not be enough to carry this movie. So, there you have it. There's my predictions. What do you think? I would love for y'all to comment down below your predictions or... Better yet, make a video and hit me up in my comments saying, hey, bro, I made a video. I'd love to see it. So there it is. Hopefully 54 of my dollars well, well spent. I wish, I hope they have success. I do. I mean, they get butt hurt over trolls and they, they, they have total re-moments and freak out over little things. Like, they, they can't handle troll at all but so yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll see my idea was genius though but i bet i guess all that went down the toilet but uh we'll see i bet some of my predictions will come true but uh yeah guys we've been going on for 24 minutes